I'm Michael Mallory with Publicity for Tourism, and I'm here to give you some tips on how to get some publicity. Uh, this is tip number one, and tip number one is to be bold and be different. Your business has to be different than the other businesses around it. If you're a hotel, you have to have a specific theme or know that you draw a specific crowd to get publicity. Uh, if you look just like every other hotel down the street, you're not going to get any other press than they do, which is zero. There's no press in that. So you have to be a little bit bold and you have to be different. Uh, let's say your hotel is themed around Star Wars. Star Wars is big right now. Disney has put out some new Star Wars films after many, many years since George Lucas gave it to them. You want Star Wars fans. However, you don't want Disney suing you. So you have to come up with all sorts of things that are Star Wars oriented. You can use existing Star Wars art, um, posters, things like that, um, figures, figurines, different things around your hotel. Start putting out content that tells people that you're a Star Wars fan and that everything in your hotel is about Star Wars. And trust me, you'll get the people out there who are Star Wars fans and will want to come to your hotel. Now, this can be done with almost anything that people are passionate about, but you've got to be out there. You've got to be blogging and talking about how yours is the Star Wars hotel. Not, not interfering with their trademark, but that your hotel is all about Star Wars. Uh, you might even get some interest from Disney. You don't want the wrong kind of legal interest. You know, if they send a cease and desist, you might have to change it. But anyway, start doing something that gets your name out there. Today, I'm wearing a, an orange shirt. I almost said yellow. I don't have a yellow shirt. I look terrible in yellow. I look pretty good in orange, but you don't see many people out there in orange shirts, especially an orange actual dress shirt. Um, orange polo shirt or rugby shirt or something like that, t-shirt, that happens. It makes me stand out a little bit. I don't know how many videos you're going to look at today. You're probably not going to see a lot of people in orange shirts. Um, that's one of the things I do. The other thing I do is I give a lot of training for free. Um, I have services you can pay for, of course, have to make a living, but I give you tons and tons of value for free. If you're a good do-it-yourself do kind of person, you can get all the value you need for free. But be bold, get out there. I'm not the greatest looking guy, but I'm doing video for you. Uh, just get out there and let people know what it is you do. Let them know hard, and that's how you're going to get the attention that will get you ranked on the the websites and get you press in the magazines or the newspaper or on your local television or radio stations. Be different. Be bold. That's tip number one. Keep coming back here. We're going to have, you know, at least 10 tips, probably as many as 20, one per day on weekdays here in February 2017. Thanks. I'm Michael Mallory. And do come visit us at ittma.com for an entire course on how to do publicity, not just tips. Once a day throughout February and probably into March, we're going to be giving you a new lesson on how to do some aspect of your own publicity. So again, if you're that do-it-yourself kind of person, you can get a lot of publicity without having to pay any money or very little money. Anyway, have a good day. I'm Michael Mallory.